What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and I'm bringing you Warman number 192 here So let's bring it to you No, this can't be real Alright guys, I think that was a little bit of a nightmare there Okay, so I'm now we're definitely bringing you Oh my god, it's actually real What's going on guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you Bayclan's broken win streak here and yes this is still war win number 191 and we did come across a very tough clan here with very tough tricky bases and we did manage to pull off a defeat here and it wasn't nice as you can see 56 to 59 such a close one, our number one right at the last second tried having a hit at their number one if so two star then fair enough but we've had players struggling like very badly we've had some players not using the right attack strategies getting two one stars or yeah two one stars it's just not right and attacking so high for just using a go we loon attack strategy but i don't know if we lost this fair and square because they're well we're not sore losers but there were claims that they were using x mod still like knowing every position of our giant bombs there were claims about that but still the we all most of us got three starred on town hall nines and yeah so for them as you can see that is not something we really wanted to see we don't want a number 18 one of the lowest town hall nines and if i just take a look at his base just look at it He's got Town Hall 8 def and Town Hall, Town, Hall, Town Hall 8 defenses, not Town Hall 7, but just look at the base. Like, there's nothing too tricky about that base. Come on, guys. So that base was left 2 starred with Town Hall level 3, level 1 air sweepers. <laughs> Literally, this base, okay, fair enough, the king and queen are very good levels still, and the walls are absolutely amazing, but... The defences are just something. Go hog this base. You can easily get the three stars long. We've had too many tries on this base. If we have a look, we did take four tries and the fact that he can three star our number 13 base. So, I don't know if I should bring you their attacks or our attacks, but yeah, it wasn't a very good war all round. Town or 10s did struggle dearly, as you can see. If we did two star Town or 10s, as you can see, the thing is... Look at this, if we 2 star, 2 star, 2 star, 2 star, we'd have won the war, fair and square. That's the trouble here. We've had players, uh, the thing is, the Town Hall 10s just did not have a good war. So, I'll bring you some defences in. So, first one can come from me here. This was his first attack, So and he's using a Go Hog attack strategy. So, I like to, why is my thing frozen? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Um, so I just like to see. Look, on my base, I have two, a double giant bomb in this position here and this position here. I think that is yes, that is. So we'll see how he goes in. He's attacking from the opposite side here. So unless he knows something I don't, and um, and on how to trigger off. Or oh, did I move my giant bombs? I don't know. But he's coming in. He's already taken down my queen here, and he's already taken down the town hall, and he's already inside the middle of my base here. And this is the thing, okay, so the hogs are running here, and look at that, so the first hog is about to go down, and bang, a double giant bomb does take out a good chunk of the hog riders, but this queen is not going down, she is still standing, and the thing is, look, where are the double giant bombs there, but what a bad place I put that, and then I had to Tesla in the corner, of course, tried to be cheeky there, but nope. Did get three starred quite badly, and I don't know about this base layout. I'm gonna. I've tried changing the positions of the giant bombs. I don't know though at the moment because that was a poor defense, and he was able to get into my base and almost out of it just with Hogra, just with his queen and a few wizards and golems. So nonetheless, let's just bring you a attack maybe from our side here. We're gonna go to not my one. I don't want to bring you mine. Um. We can may as well go to mean up here. He had a brilliant war. He got two six stars here. I mean, he got two three stars, so six stars in total here. First attack here on a very well played base here. Go hog. He starts off by just luring out and look at that. The, ch the cheeky positions of those 
things. And yes, he starts off by triggering a double giant bomb. I'm assuming the other double giant bomb oh is somewhere here as well. So he's gonna start the gold gold go part of uh, go but go part of this raid right here. And he triggers off one giant bomb, so the double giant bomb is there. And yep, yeah, so that's how that's all he has to do. And he has only fifteen hog riders left, and I'd say it's not enough, me that. But anyway, all giant bombs gone, and that you can almost look at as a good three star. And of course, a lava hounding and clan castle that is not a trouble at all. I do not understand why people use that. Even in our clan, I don't understand why people use a lava hounds here. But we, but it doesn't work because every time I come across a drag, come across a dragon, I do struggle here. But anyways, all the hog riders, almost all the hog riders are going down. Now all the hog riders go down. Nicely coming in as a bunch together. He can nicely, safely use a first heal. And just let me tell you guys, jump spells. They are absolutely ridiculous. I'll bring you on attack after this. Where just, you don't even know. The go hog part of a raid was so good. And all the hogs just get spring trapped off the base. Like, no double giant bombs. Here you go, another spring trap. I think spring traps are too many and... They take out, because you can see hogs are in groups of, like, groups. A spring trap, spring trap can take out a maximum of three hog riders here. So, it's quite a struggle. It's quite painful when you see your hogs all get flinged off on off the base. But now, as you can see, plenty of hog riders left. And we can fairly say this was a nice three-star. Yeah, nice three-star here. So, now I just need to bring you that attack here where those... Um, it was on which base? Yeah, it was on this number 13, so I'm just going to have to scroll down a bit off here. Um, there you go, that's a base. So, this is a base, and just to give you a little heads up, giant bombs are in these one place location, so they're there, in this gap, and there. So there are no chances of a double giant bomb. I tried attacking this base, I attacked from the top, not a good idea, because I did put my jump spell down too late, and the hog riders went elsewhere, and... Left my left the queen still standing for the hog part of raid, which was not good. So the way Doeb does it, he brings two jumps. No, he brings a jump and a rage spell, leaving only two heals for the rest of his troops here. So okay. So as you can see, the dragon and the balloons do go down fairly quickly. The thing is, the golems are going in a not very is are not going in a very nice place whatsoever. But here comes the hog riders and. We're going to just pay attention to the hog riders all this race. So, he's just wasting here. There you go. The f that's first hog rider getting springed off. There's another three. So, that's four hog riders getting springed off in this. So, so, first heal spell does go down. He did wait quite long. A few hogs did die off here. But we're counting. We've got four hogs that got springed off at the moment here. And we'll just see how many more are going to get. So, there you go. That's five. That's another seven. So we're on seven at the moment here, and still quite a lot of defenses left. And at this stage, you say, "Oh wow, there's only top defenses left. That's definitely going to be a free start." But we've had seven hog riders springed off so far, and there are going to be more spring traps here. I do not understand what he did with that poison spell there. But now, there you go. That's eight eight hogs springed off, and another ten hog riders. So ten hog riders got spring trapped off this raid. And that left with one archer tower still standing, and oh, well, and an expo still standing, which expo okay, fair enough. That is a hard defense to take down, but still, ten hog riders spring trapped out of. I think he had twenty-two hog riders. Almost half of his hog riders gone to spring traps, so that is a real pain here. He did. This is the base, very well placed spring traps, and that did put misery to Doa here, as he really was on track to three star that base from the start. So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up. We did lose our win streak there. Very sad. Only by three. But when we look over at it, all we needed was to two-star a few town or more town or tens. Not using brand new strategies. We did. Tr Some people did try out new strategies to try get themselves the three-star or a very solid two-star. Just ended up getting one-stars there. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. We are in our current war at the moment against Lucky. So let's hope they don't get lucky this time. They are from India here. So let me just take a look. How many Town Hall 10s? Oh, God. And if this is a Town Hall 9.5? Nope. That's definitely getting three stars. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up from vi for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you've not done so yet. And let's hope and just hope we can carry on a nine-win streak onto our 200th war win. Goodbye.